Netflix anime promotes lies about Islam? Wait, what? Let's find out. Netflix is the biggest streaming service in the world. They released True. Castlevania, an American anime, and for some reason they had to lie about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Just imagine how many people, especially the Muslim youth, watched that episode and really thought what they said about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was true. When in reality they lied about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It was not a mistake, rather a deliberate lie. Inshallah, in this video I'm going to react and expose. The their lies and explain why they want to promote such nonsense to their audience. So without wasting any time, let's watch the clips and come back. Uh, if you have a God, then you probably also have a devil. And if God created everything, then he also made her. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said, one day there will be no human beings left in hell. They are claiming that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that one day there will be no human being left in the hellfire. Who told them That's such not true. nonsense? And in which book they got such information? <laughs> that is definitely false. Um, or they made a mistake and they meant there will be no Muslim in hell. Because uh, we Muslims believe that if a Muslim uh, lives a sinful life is not practicing properly, but there's still some Iman uh, left, right? And that person still counts as a Muslim, that one day this person will go out of the hellfire. But those people that never were Muslim, for example, or that left Islam or something, right? Like some will stay for eternity in hell. And it says this in the Quran. So... This is like wrong what is said there. This is definitely false information. So either they are just completely lying or they misunderstood something when they made this anime because uh, what was meant once was that if someone is a Muslim and he's a sinful Muslim, that one day he will go out of hellfire and into Jannah. So yeah, I don't know if it's just a lie or if it's a misunderstanding, but this is false information. Don't believe what they say this anime. This is not true. This is not what Islam teaches. You would expect Netflix and network with a net worth of more than 200 billion dollars to, to use be reliable sources yeah. and at least have the correct quotations. I challenge every single human being on the face of the planet to bring a single statement from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying such thing. It doesn't no. exist. Exactly. Allah has promised the hypocrites, both men and women, and the disbelievers an everlasting, everlasting. The fire of hell. It is sufficient for them. Allah has condemned them and they will suffer a never-ending never punishment. We Muslims believe the disbelievers will be in the hellfire forever. Yes. Forever, yeah, and you know it's like funny here. It even says forever uh, twice, right? We have everlasting. What does everlasting mean? It never ends, right? And here it even says it never ends, never ending. So here you have it confirmed twice that someone will be like some people will be forever eternity in hellfire, and that is actually scary. Like you don't even want to be one uh, second in Jannah a never-ending punishment. We Muslims believe the disbelievers will be in the hellfire forever. And we have this anime lying about Islam openly. And we know why Netflix is promoting such nonsense. They want to liberalize Islam and promote the universal religion in the Muslim community. The belief that all religions lead to God or that all religions are accepted is completely false and rejected yeah. according to Islam. We Muslims believe only Islam is true and we Muslims believe Islam is the only religion accepted by God Almighty. Yes. Whoever seeks a way other than Islam, it will never be accepted from him. And in the hereafter, they will be among the losers. And by the way, this is not the first time that Islam has been disrespected by an anime. First and foremost, do hurry up with the termination of the Joe Stars. And this time, try not to disappoint me. How dare you tell me to live up to your expectations? Just who do you think you are anyway? Just look at you sitting there with your back to me, leaving your... 
Jojo's Bizarre Adventure in one of their episodes He's reading they the Quran? depicted one of their characters as reading the Quran and I believe it was the villain who was reading the Quran and while reading it he gave the order to terminate the Jostar it's who Dio, are of right? course the heroes of the story they tried to link Islam and the Quran with the idea of being a villain as you can see the Quran is in Arabic and nobody in the anime story is an Arab or at least a Muslim none of the characters profess their faith or claim to be Muslim so why use the Quran and why make sure to show it in the Arabic language don't tell me this is a mistake this was intentional and you will still find some mm. Muslims who will ignore such disrespect and insist on watching the anime may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and them. I mean if you question I mean. them they will certainly say we were only talking idly and joking around say was it Allah his revelations and his messenger that you ridiculed may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all to the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Ameen. page they showed is Surah Ra'ad chapter 13 wow. of the Quran and you subhanallah the verse on wait well, how did he see that it's so blurry I can't even read anything can you guys actually read anything this is completely blurred right or maybe just the image he shows is unclear, but there's like one where you can actually uh, 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 read this, right? Okay, so it's Surah Arat. Okay, okay, but what's the message, man? Like, why are they using this? And yeah, Dio is studying the Quran for what? Like, that's fascinating because I did not pay that much attention to that before. Like, in the past, this was like years ago. I actually uh, watched uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This is like a long time ago. And. I have not noticed that anyone was reading the Quran. Like, I, I, yeah, I, I know like certain scenes and stuff, but I didn't pay so much close attention. So it's actually fascinating to find out that some anime, including JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there are like some references to Islam. Wasn't there also something in Avengers about Islam? So, someone actually made a post was it on Twitter that they made fun about Islam in uh, Avengers, right? Like, like a Marvel movie. I heard about this too. So that's actually interesting because 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 sometimes I actually miss those small details like this one here. So it's fascinating to see this here now because if I wow, fascinating. Of the Quran and Subhanallah, the verse on the screen is a clear warning to these people. Allah gives abundant or limited provisions to whoever He wills, and the disbelievers become prideful of the pleasures of this worldly life. But the life of this world compared to the hereafter is nothing but a fleeting enjoyment they may lie about islam and try to disrespect the quran and us muslims but rest assured the day of judgment is near and they will answer for every single thing they did in this life we have bound every human's destiny to their neck and on the day of judgment we will bring forth to each person a record which they will find laid open and it will be said read your record you alone are sufficient this day to take account of yourself whoever chooses to be guided it will only be their own good and whoever chooses to stray it is only to their own loss no soul burdened with sin will bear the burden of another and we would never punish a people until we have sent a messenger to warn them exactly the messenger came and it is prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam every single muslim should protect himself and his children we should monitor what our muslim youth are watching we should never allow the disbelievers to program our muslim youth into normalizing disrespecting islam let's you know it's like interesting here in germany and this is from one of my uh, friends from syria when i was like with him and we were picking up his kids from a kindergarten here in Germany they're actually teaching stuff in kindergartens that can mislead the Muslim youth actually they were teaching stuff about how Jesus peace be upon him for example at this particular kindergarten is the son of Allah and they put like doubts and questions into some kids uh, minds and stuff like I do get they want to do something for the Christian uh, kids there and teach them their religion but if you as like a Muslim kid uh, learns about their religion and you don't get explained that there is a difference between islam and christianity and everything is just mixed together like you can end up being confused and that's why it's so important that your parent i mean that the parents that they teach the children 
like Islam properly because if you don't teach from a young age your children Islam properly you will have the schools educate them in a way you don't want them to be educated in and they will make some some so they will either add bidda they will add bidda to Islam or they will completely misunderstand certain verses and certain meanings and this and that and they even could go as far as to committing shirk or like really calling uh, Jesus peace be upon him and that is shirk a son of God and God at the same time Trinity you know so so you have to be very very careful when you raise children in the West that you teach them the truth about Islam from an early age if not you will have some issues like either the kindergarten or like here this with the anime where in was it castlevania right uh where it says oh one day there will be no human beings left in hell this is not true as well as uh, a evil person reading the quran okay like the first let's actually finish this and i will give you guys uh, my feedback on both animes and why i think only one is actually like one is very bad, one is like a bit bad, but I will explain later why. Realizing this is in Islam. Let's all do our best for the next generation of Muslims to have pride in their faith and be strong Muslims. And inshallah be upon the Quran and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as saying, A strong believer is better and is more lovable to Allah than a weak believer. And there is good in everyone. I hope you benefited from Um, one second, we have to go back to this hadith because I want to explain you guys something. This is actually funny because I came across some different interpretations and meanings of this one here. So let's read this together again. Abu Huraira reported that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, a strong believer is better and is more lovable to Allah than a weak believer and there is good in everyone. So what, 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 what do some people say is the interpretation of this? So some say a strong believer is strong in faith and Iman. And this is in my opinion the strongest and most correct opinion. That in this uh, hadith is meant strong as strong in Iman, strong in faith. Like is your faith strong? Yes, then you are a strong believer. And you are more lovable to Allah than if you are a weak believer with low Iman. But... There are other interpretations and some they actually take multiple interpretations in, in, in one message is a strong believer means uh, one and that is also very strong. That is as strong in my opinion as the one with Iman because the one Iman is definitely also when you look here because it mentions the hereafter in it, right? Um, but there's one opinion that means strong in any way, strong in faith, in Iman, strong physically and financially. That means you are an individual that has like a lot of belief that is physically fit and that has like a lot of income. That is like another opinion. And there's one opinion that talks about strong with just the cash or the physical body, right? But yeah, I, I don't believe that Iman is not tied to strong. So it's either only Iman or also other attributes, right? But yeah, this is interesting because I once came across this hadith and there were so many different opinions. And some were like stronger while some were weaker. And my personal opinion is the second one, that it's Iman for sure, but also strong physically and financially. Because why? If you are strong in Iman and strong physically and uh, financially, you're able to do a lot of good deeds, right? But definitely faith is the, the main thing here. One. I hope you benefited from this video. You can also watch this video about a Hindu giving the funniest argument against Islam. Oh. And don't forget to subscribe check this out to not next. miss any future uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let me give this one a thumbs up because I, I didn't know this about the anime. And now to my two points and why I think one anime is worse than the other. So one is complete misinformation and this was Castlevania, right? Where it says that People are just temporarily in hell, including disbelievers, right? That is actually wrong because that's not what is in the Quran. We saw that there's an everlasting punishment and it's never ending, right? It even says it's in the Quran, even twice, right, in, in this part. So this is actually false information and this is very, very dangerous because 
if if a person goes to someone right and that person is a christian or an atheist and they ask them what will happen to us uh, after we die in Akira? What will happen to us? And if you say they go temporarily to hellfire, you're not giving a, 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 a clear warning to the people. And you're actually telling lies and you're giving misinformation about stuff that's not in the Quran. And this is this is very, very bad. It is very dangerous if you if you give wrong messages about Islam. Because not only do you actually not deliver the true message and a way of guidance for people because if you actually give false information you're not giving true guidance because what is if there's an individual right that is curious about islam and you go to this individual that is for example a christian right and you're saying oh you can actually st you're indirectly saying oh you can actually stay a christian because you're going one day to paradise right but what if that person has doubts about christianity and considers going to islam and now this person hears if they don't go to islam they're going to the hellfire and this actually encourages that individual to learn more about islam but you actually just ruined that chance by telling him he's going to jenna anyway one day right because you gave misinformation so you have to be very very careful because there are maybe some individuals where you actually ruin the discovery or, or the acceptance of Islam by just giving wrong information here right in this example so I think misinformation about Islam is the most dangerous and the worst part so that's why I think this is definitely dangerous I think they should fix this and if they ever upload the future this episode they should change the subtitles right and they should say it correctly or actually remove that scene altogether that's even better and about Dio, I think it was it was Dio, right? Uh, reading the Quran in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I find this not as bad because when you think about it, back in the day of uh, the times of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even the enemies of Islam would try to read the message, right? And, and see what is Islam about. So an evil individual studying or reading the Quran is not, in my opinion, and this is my personal opinion, a direct indication that this is bad right like oh an evil person reads the quran so this is actually showing that islam is bad because what if you do the interpretation of this scene in the anime as there's an evil person that has doubts about being evil like you can also interpret the scene as dio is evil and misguided but he's trying to find an answer even though he has not found it yet and maybe he's looking into the quran and islam to, to see if there's truth in it and maybe he will become a good guy but in the end of, of the anime he dies as an evil guy right so this can be either way it can either be intended as I'm disrespecting Islam as the author as the creator of the anime or it could be a sign of evil people sometimes try to fight answers but they don't find the answer or something right so it can have like two meanings. We don't know the intention of the person that created the anime and we have to discover is this person against Islam or not the writer of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. If this person has a negative stance against Islam, we can do the interpretation that, oh, he's trying to disrespect Islam by, is, by associating the Quran with an evil character. But what is the thought of that writer, that author of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure was actually... To show that sometimes evil characters are questioning their and, uh, actions and they're trying to actually find guidance but they just never find it. Whereas if that is the message of that scene. So it can be either way. So that's, that's why I'm like having a question mark at the second scene. But the first uh, scene here shown from Castlevania, this is also in my opinion very disrespectful about Islam because you're promoting lies about Islam and I think they should remove that scene or fix it it shouldn't stay like this because that's really bad second one is questionable because we need to know the intention of the scene because like I said even the enemies about Islam they used to read uh, Islam and uh, about the, uh, the the Quran right and they tried to find answers or they were like looking if they can actually expose Islam right so I wouldn't say this is directly the second one bad, it's just questionable. But yeah guys, what do you guys think about those two animes and do you think that the second anime Jojo's Beside Venture is also disrespecting Islam or are you viewing it as me as we have to find out the true intention behind it because someone just reading the Quran that is evil, it can mean a lot of things, right? As long as he's not using the Quran for something evil, it is... Allahu alam to me, whatever the intention was of the author. 
But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time, inshallah.